guys, it's Janelle here, also known as Chow Chow 808, and today I am putting together this original 3D crystal puzzle of Pinocchio. So before I go into it, it's going to be a sped up uh, video. Before I go into it, I just wanted to let you know that with these 3D crystal puzzles, there is a website you need to go to in order to find the directions as to how to put these things together. So I'm going to open the box and I'm going to see if I, it's on, I can't remember if it's on here or if it's, um, oh, it's actually on the back of the box. So there is a website and it's right here. I'll have it linked down below in the description box, but it tells you how to organize your pieces. So in here, you, in any one of these, you usually have, oh, this one actually comes with the directions here. So if you go to the website that I will link down below, it tells you the directions just like this. And you need to find what you do in order to set this up properly. You have to look for the numbers on each individual piece. So if, I don't know how well you'll be able to see here, but this is piece number 26. So you go into this direction, into the directions here, and as you can see, step one is piece number 26. So what I do is I line up the pieces and then I just go in and start putting the, assembling the puzzle together. So I'm gonna do a speed up version of that. I just wanted to do a quick intro here before I jumped right in. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see a collection of the 3D crystal puzzles that I have so far, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. I love doing these. These are my favorite, especially the Disney ones. So like I said, I'm just going to jump right in.
for this part, here's going to be like, I'm going to help you out. So for 12 and 7, it doesn't tell you in these side directions, but they need to be connected like this. So this is 12 and this bottom part is 7. As you can see, there's like a little area here where they connect and so it slips in to be his arm right here. So I'm going to follow that because I'm assuming, oh no, so 4... So here's 4 and 23. So 4, place piece 23 over piece 4. So it says to place 23. This has to be 23, right? Oh wait, I might be doing that upside down. Hold on. Place 23, which should be this. And then this is piece 4. So you're going to lock it in like that. And there was a little click that I heard too. So that's that. admit this was a lot tougher than any of the other 3d puzzles that I had 
Um, the instructions weren't that clear in regards to putting together the legs and which way the legs had to go, nor were they clear about where to, when to put in the bow. So what I would suggest if you have this puzzle and you want to do it, um, here's my tips and I'm going to write them here. So before you put on piece number two and before this, you're going to want to put in the bow just because piece number two will secure the bow in and when you set the head, this setting the head literally is just putting everything on. So you, it will set everything in place. If you don't secure the bowl, then you're going to have to pop out this stick, which is really, really tough to do. And then you're gonna have to pop it out. So the other thing I would highly suggest is playing around with the legs, just because the legs are really difficult to figure out. So you're going to want to play with the positioning of the shorts and see how it relates to to the actual legs that we put together. So I believe that was like piece 19 and 14. So you wanna put them together and then see how they fit within the shoe before you put them, like try to assemble this whole thing at once. Other than that, um, I found that the feather was really difficult to assemble. Um, I found that even trying to find the hole where the hat attaches to was really difficult. Um, but overall, the piece looks really, really good. I love how it looks. I think it looks like it's a solid display piece. Overall, I love this piece. I think it's a gorgeous piece. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that this kind of helps you. Doing these crystal 3D puzzles, honestly, they're not this difficult. This has to be the most difficult one I've had so far. I do have the Cinderella carriage, so that might be a little bit more difficult, but overall, I really do like how this came out. I think it's a great piece, plus the size is amazing compared to my other ones. Until my next video, oh, I forgot to mention, if you have any questions about this or where you can find these, you can go ahead and leave your question down below in the comments. I'll also find the Amazon link where you can purchase this as well as the Walmart link because Walmart does sell a lot of these. You just have to look in the kid aisle, kid, kids toys aisle and look near the puzzles because that's where you're going to find the display for these. Thank you guys so much for joining me and until my next video, I'll see you guys later. Bye! Wait, wait, wait.